Hello and welcome to Someca Annuity Calculator Template. This tool mainly schedules you your pension payment according to the inputs you make on the dashboard. It is constructed by four parts. These are the dashboard, the payment schedule, annuity calculator, and of course the detailed graphs of the inputs you make on the dashboard. Let's start with the dashboard. Enter your payment schedule preferences. Please set only white cells. Do not type or change anything from a white cell. So let's give an example, shall we? Let's say our initially age is 60 and the years to pay out is 30 and our initial capital is $800,000. Interest rate could be chosen right here. If a variable chosen, the interest rate is going to be randomly selected by the minimum and maximum rate you define in this section. Once you press the F9 button, it is going to give another interest rate between the intervals you determine, like this. But in this example, let's make it a fixed one. Once you make it a fixed one, define your interest rate. Let's say it is 4%. The inflation rate is 1%. And the earned interest tax is, let's say, 22%. The payment frequency and annuity payment term could also be chosen just like the interest rate. The only thing you have to do is click on it and choose the right payment frequency which suits you the best. And for the annuity permit payment term, choose if it's going to be beginning of year or end of year. Once you set your settings, the initial first and last payment will be shown in here automatically, just like the graphic. Let's carry on with the payment schedule. Press on the button. The table shows you the schedule of cash inflow once you retire with the terms you determine on the dashboard, you may clearly see the period, the age, interest rate, interest, tax, payment, net payment, balance and cumulative interest over the periods. Let's carry on with the annuity calculator. This tab gives you the information you're looking for under the conditions you determine. It works in three ways, solving for periods to pay out, initial principal, and periodic payment. Let's choose pre periods to pay out. The answer we're looking for is the periods that we need to be able to suit these inputs. Let's say our initial principal is $2 million, our payment frequency is annually, and we want our first periodic withdrawal to be $100. So the interest annual rate is let's say 3% and the inflation rate is let's say 1% and you may also choose the beginning of year or end of year from here. So in these conditions if it's beginning of the year to be able to these inputs to suit our desires, the number of periods we need is 29.5% and in this case it makes 29.5 years and number of periods if inflation adjusted is 25 periods which is 25 years because we choose it annually. Let's go to initial principle. It works in the same way. The only thing that we don't know is the initial principle itself. This is the reason why we're going to leave it blank, but not the other cells. Set your inputs again, according to your preferences. And once you define your preferences, according to these conditions to be able to happen, we need $2,120,000 of initial principal if inflation adjusted is $2.5 million. And lastly, 
periodic payment. This also works in the same way but the only thing that we don't know is the first and last periodic payment and also the periodic payment itself. Set your inputs to be able to find your periodic payment. Let's make this monthly. Years to withdrawal is 25, 3% interest rate, 1% inflation and let's make this end of year. In these conditions we're going to get a $7,113 of periodic payment which the first and last periodic payment is stated in here. And lastly the graph part. You may see your future cash inflow properties in detailed separate charts in terms of your balance, breakdown of principal and interest, interest and net payment over the periods thanks for watching and don't forget to check our other templates at www.someka.net